terms and acronyms for the BI professional. Sure enough, when you start any new career, you're going to get thrust into a situation where you've got to learn all of the catchphrases that are flying around the office, right? We've all been there. There's alphabet soup everywhere, and we have no clue what they're talking about. We're just kind of trying to fake it till we make it. So for this nugget, what I want to do is I want to talk about some key terms and acronyms that are really going to help you be more conversational when we're talking about BI topics. So let's dive right in. All right, first one on the list, BI. That's business intelligence. That's exactly what we've been talking about this whole time. Using data to figure out what's really going on with our business. Who is interacting with us? How are they interacting with us? When, where, why, all of that stuff. Viz. Viz is short for visualization, and this typically means just one specific chart that we have drawn out using data. This is more common in the Tableau community than the Power BI community, but it is a interchangeable term that's just generically talking about all of the different types of visualizations. For instance, the little gentleman here on your screen is looking at a Gantt chart. That would be a Gantt Viz uh, in, in the BI community. Now, the next couple, report and dashboard, this changes depending on what tool we're looking at. For instance, let me bring up Chrome and show you exactly what I'm talking about. What we're looking at here is something in the Tableau Public Gallery. This person has taken the history of LEGO's data and turned it into a dashboard where we can interact with each of these data points and get more information about what was going on. You can see in the 1960s here, uh, if we just hover over any of these, it shows us something new and unique about the data, which is really, really cool. You can also see how it's trending over time. In the Tableau community, they call this a dashboard. Very similarly, in Power BI, you also have a similar looking set where we've got interesting data points. We've got big numbers, of course, here. And if we scroll down, we can see a big map with all sorts of data. This is showing landslides between 1988 and 2016. Now, you would say, ah, well, this looks like a dashboard, too. It does, but Power BI calls this a report. A dashboard and Power BI means something entirely different, and we cover that in our course on CBT Nuggets on Power BI. Now, the last part is a report in something like SQL Server Reporting Services. This is the more traditional, just get me a table full of numbers. We'll print it out. It's going to be 100 pages long. Uh, this is what a generic report in SQL Server Reporting Services looks like. So you can see how the dashboard and report term is very, very fluid depending on which application you're actually working with. A flat file, this is talking about an Excel file or a CSV file. You see, when data grows in size, we end up having to dice it up and spread it out across multiple files or multiple tables, which is what happens in the very next one, the database. The database takes data and spreads it out so that we can more quickly pull out the little tidbits that we need. So you can see how with a flat file, if it's not spread out, if all of the data exists on one file, it looks very flat. That's why it's called a flat file. It's an Excel. So the database does just like what we just discussed. It takes all of that large data and it spreads it out across multiple, what looks like multiple Excel files. And that way, whenever we need to pick out something very specific from the data, uh, we can just get it from that specific area rather than having to go through this gigantic flat file to get it. Now, the data warehouse that is a database that has been designed specifically for dashboarding and reporting. You see, most databases exist to write data. Think about filling out an application for a loan online. When you click submit, it takes all of that information that you just wrote and writes it to a database spread out. Whenever we're ready to actually report on the metrics of that loan application, we probably want to transform it and polish it a little bit so it's more ready to be reported on. That's what the data warehouse does. And big data, this was a huge term a few years ago. It's, it's kind of not fading away, but now it's not, the name of the game isn't so much big data anymore, it's accurate data. But big data is talking about when we collect heaps and mounds of data, it's not necessarily structured anymore. Uh, this is going to be data that's not just in one place, it's spread out all over the world. This is using a tool like Hadoop, H-A-D-O-O-P, which we also talk about in CBD Nuggets. 
So with all of those key terms and acronyms in place, you are now ready to understand the language of BI and start having conversations about BI with BI people. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.